uh, this morning. Don't want to talk about religion or politics or anything like that. This morning I want to talk about Falcon Lake, Texas. And a woman named, well, um, you know what we're talking about. We're talking about um, David and Tiffany Hartley. Um, Chick claims that uh, drug cartel killed them while they were out on jet ski. Out jet skiing on the lake. I'm looking at this lake and I'm thinking, shit, dude, did you really have to go over into Mexico? I mean, think about it. Look at the size of the lake. Um, plenty of places to be safe on the American, like, miles from the Mexican border in this one part of the lake. Real nice. Um, I want to know two things. I want to know, A, how much is the life insurance policy she had on him, if any, and B, were there any bullet holes in the jet ski? Because if you get a bunch of people shooting at you and they kill your husband, chances are they're going to hit your jet ski too. Goes to reason anyway, I think. Unless they're like really good shots, in which case, why aren't you dead? Um, some things about her story just don't add up. Why would they kill him and leave her? You know? I don't understand that. Um... These are drug cartels. They don't give a fuck about anybody. Trust me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm not saying she's guilty of anything. But just, I got my suspicions. Okay, I'm not going to outright accuse somebody of something. There's a possibility this woman could be a grieving widow. You know? She just doesn't seem all that upset. She seems upset. But not as upset as you should be if you just ran from a bunch of fucking killers and they blew your husband away, you know? Um, the woman didn't cry. You know, usually when you hear about somebody that, like, they're grieving after, like, they lost a loved one, they're usually sitting there sobbing and crying, and in her only television interview, not one bloody tear. Now, there are medical conditions that keep you from crying, but... I doubt she has it. <laughs> um, I think she's perfectly capable of shedding tears. But, yeah. Let's see. Let's see what this uh, victim of Falcon Lake attack speaks out. I'm getting this off the uh, KRGV.com. Rio Grande Valley, Texas. Um... <sighs> they crossed into Mexican waters because they wanted a picture of partly submerged church in the town of Old Guerrero. Okay. Why? Couldn't you just buy a fucking postcard? <laughs> Don't they have those on, like, who knows? We asked about that was the place he wanted to go before we went back to Colorado the next week. And he wanted to go play with the jet ski before, you know, go back to the cold weather. <laughs> so we decided around 9 o'clock in the morning that we would head out. And around 2 to 2.15, we were on the lake and headed that way. We made the trip despite reports of pirates in the area robbing American fishing boats at gunpoint. Okay, so we're on jet skis. We'll be a little safer. <laughs> no, you stupid bitch. You'll be a big open target and you know it. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, living in Reynolds for two and a half years. This is kind of bad. So she says bullets started flying. They're not finding any evidence of attack. They claim that a bunch of people were shooting at him. They're on one jet ski. He gets shot and there's no bullet holes in the jet ski. Are there bullet holes? I don't know. Are there bullet holes in the jet ski? If there are, let me know. It it bears it bears heavily on what I'm saying here. Because if there are bullet holes in the jet ski 
chances are, you know, shit happened. Otherwise, she could have bumped the motherfucker off, just kicked him off the goddamn jet ski. You know, they get all these warnings, and she gets in, oh, I don't like this guy very much. I just bump his ass off in the fucking middle of the lake and claim the Mexicans did it. They'll never be able to prove anything, and they'll have to take my word for it. <laughs> it's a possibility. I'm not saying it's what happened. It very well may be that he got killed by um, Mexican bandits that ran him off at gunfire, but she doesn't seem too damn shook up over it, does she? She actually seems quite calm. And, you know, I don't know about you, but when I have a traumatic experience like that, I'm fucked up for weeks, dude. Fucking weeks. So, yeah. Something isn't right. Something isn't right. That's all I can say. But we're going to have to, uh, you know, I want to know how much the life insurance is on this guy she took out. And I want to know if there are any bullet holes in the jet ski. <laughs> if there's no bullet holes in the jet ski and she's got a big life insurance policy on him, you know, then somebody needs to start following the money. Anyway, of course, there is a third, third possibility here. He ain't dead. She's just took him on the jet ski, he got off in Mexico, they got friends in Mexico, he takes off with them, she comes back, claims he's dead, um, files a police report, they go into the Mexican thing, and they can try and get the Mexican people to say there's a possibility that this happened, um, she collects the life insurance policy, waits about seven or eight months, and then goes down to a South American country that has no extradition treaty with America, where her husband's waiting for her, and, um, you know, they live the good life. A, a life insurance scam. It's been done millions of times. Most people get caught, but it gets done. Lots of people do it. Um, or you hear about people that do it. But, you know, just something's not right. I got this weird feeling about it. I am not accusing her. I am just putting out um, well, okay, maybe I am accusing her to an extent, but, um, you know, those are the possibilities, either A, she's telling the truth, and, um, she's one very, very strong-minded woman, um, <laughs> uh, two, she bumped off her husband and is, uh, blaming the Mexican drug lords for it, because, you know, Great scapegoats, don't you think? Or three, um, he ain't dead. And they're and it's an insurance life insurance scam. So check the vote, see if there's any uh bullet holes in it, and find out how much the life insurance is. And then find out if there's been any um strange activity in the bank accounts of either of them. And find out if they have any offshore accounts together. Um Dig a little deeper. This is going to turn into something interesting, I think. But, uh, you know, I could be wrong. That's all basically my opinion. All of this is just an opinion. I could be totally wrong. She could be a grieving widow for all I know. But just something doesn't add up. Something just does not add up. Anyway, that's my own opinion. And take it for whatever. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Um... Uh, please, post a response, post a video response, and for God's sake, subscribe.